Hi, good morning. Um, we're on day three here in New Mexico. It's a very beautiful morning. You can see all the mountains behind us. Uh, I'm on the property of someone who we're here to interview, so I've got my radio gear here. Um, uh, my name is Jessica Lessenhop. I am a reporter, a writer, and a radio producer for BBC. Uh, I've been a reporter for about 12 years um, and I just want to introduce myself before I answer some of your questions that your teacher sent me. Um, I am actually out on an assignment right now. I thought I would record this um, from where I am right now. I'm in a, I'm on the Navajo Nation Reservation in New Mexico on an assignment. Uh, so the first question that I saw was, uh, why did you want to become a journalist? And I'm actually in the perfect place to show you why I did. I wanted to become a journalist. I mean, there's a few reasons, but I think the number one reason is that uh, I've never wanted a desk job. I never wanted to sit behind a desk and, um, you know, work eight hours a day, 40 hours a week. And, and uh, I wanted to have a job where I got to go places, um, meet people where your job is different every day. And that's definitely what being a journalist is like. So for example, right now, I don't know if you can see this behind me. I'm on my way to that rock. That is Ship Rock. Uh, I'm in Ship Rock, New Mexico, and that is the rock. That is the Ship Rock. Um, and we're going there uh, with my colleague who is behind me. She's shooting some scenery shots. So we're out here, um, you know, we do reporting, but we also are putting together a video version of our story. And so we need to get some beautiful scenery. So that means that I get to see beautiful scenery in the course of doing my job. And I've never been to New Mexico. And so, yeah, like being a journalist is a lot of fun because it's always different. You always get to go somewhere new and experience something new. And you're always learning about the world. You're always learning um, something new with every assignment. So uh, yeah, that's definitely a major reason why I wanted to do this. One way is school. I had to go to school for it, but um, really you don't need to go to school to be a journalist. If you have sort of a talent for storytelling, um, if you have good ideas for articles, if, uh, if you like to write, there are actually lots of avenues that can lead to a career in journalism that don't involve formal education. I guess I just wanted to stress that, um, you know, there are so many ways to get into this profession and it doesn't need to be formal schooling. So uh, again, the internet has helped open a lot of new and interesting ways to get into this job. But if you're like me and you need someone to teach you, um, then journalism school is one way you can do it. I have a master's degree in journalism. Um, another great way to do it is uh, if you were to say, go to college, many colleges have a student newspaper and some of them are very, very good. How do you report something? Um, how you report something is you do what we're doing. Um, you jump in a car, you get on a plane, or you know, if you're reporting on your own city, you just pick up the phone. I mean, during COVID, most of the reporting that we're doing is just um, picking up the phone and talking to people. Hi. Um, uh, you call politicians, you call people who are doing interesting things in your community, and you ask questions. Have I ever interviewed someone that I don't like? Um, yes, I have had to interview a lot of people I don't like. So I would say for the most part, um, I interview people who I think are interesting, have done something interesting, and I, I just want to tell their story. And there's not a lot that's super, you know, argumentative. I'm not there to challenge them. I just want to hear their story. Is it ever awkward when you interview someone? Um, it can be, for sure. Yeah, I mean, you meet all different kinds of people. Some people you get along with immediately right away, and it's super easy to talk to them. Uh, some people uh, don't really want to talk that much and it's really hard to get them to answer your questions. Uh, do I get frustrated when I can't think of the right word for something? Yes. All the time. All the time. Um, you can sometimes think of a word. You know it's the it's on the tip of your brain. You like know oh I know this word and you just it just doesn't come to you. So then I start googling. I use google a lot when I can't think of the right word. I, I just start like typing like it's a word that means sort of this and I don't know and uh, or I'll like think of a word that kind of means the same thing and then look it up in a thesaurus, uh, an online thesaurus, look for synonyms. Um, sometimes I can't even think of that. I have to look up antonyms, um, but Google is your friend for sure. Next question was, uh, is my job difficult? Uh, it's challenging, I would say. Uh, I'm worried about whether or not I'm doing a good enough job. I think the thing that makes me the most worried is if I'm getting my facts straight, if I'm being accurate. Uh, I would say the thing that keeps me up at night is that I've reported something that isn't true, um, obviously not intentionally, but 
um, yeah, sometimes people tell you conflicting information and um, you have to do your best to separate the truth um, from what's false. And it's sometimes hard to do that. I really think that this is, I feel incredibly lucky to get to do what I do. So uh, I would say it's, it's challenging. Uh, it can be extremely stressful, um, but it's also super rewarding. Um, so that's sort of what keeps me at it. What are my hobbies? I don't have any hobbies. I have zero hobbies. I am very consumed with my job. My job is kind of my whole life. So uh, in my free time, I read books that I think will help me with my job. I listen to podcasts that I think will help me with my job. Um, that's not good. You guys should have hobbies. <laughs> you should play sports and collect stamps and I don't know, do something else with your time other than uh, constantly think about work. Such a good question, whoever asked it. Um, what's what's the most embarrassed I've ever been uh, on the job and I feel really bad because I have it's such a good question uh, and I don't have a very entertaining answer because I feel like I am I don't embarrass very easily um, I make mistakes constantly constantly so it's not as if I'm not doing stupid stuff all the time I am um, but I think that part of I mean I guess this is another thing about journalism is that um, it's really important to always be honest about your own ignorance so like what you don't know um so i can i can never pretend that i understand someone or uh, uh, understand something that i don't understand because then i have to write about it and so if i pretend to know more than i do then i'm gonna be in trouble because i'm not gonna be able to explain it so being stupid is part of the job and asking a lot of questions and not being afraid to say i don't understand that or can you say that again i still don't understand you um so in a way it's hard to be embarrassed when you're just pretty comfortable. I'm just pretty comfortable being stupid and being letting other people educate me. I realized um, not yesterday, but the day before we did a bunch of filming where I was I was talking to the camera like this uh, with my colleague filming me and I had this mask on upside down the entire time. So that's going to look pretty cool and very professional. Here are all of our friends that we've been making all afternoon. It's eating time. And uh, yeah, this is what I do for a living. It's great. <laughs>